This is why you need to start using a tiling window manager. I didn't use a tiling window manager for a very long time, okay? I started on KDE, and one of the reasons I chose KDE over something like GNOME or XFCE was because I wanted customization. However, the problem was that even though I was getting all these customizations, I was lacking a large benefit that tiling window managers give you, which is speed. So we're gonna be talking about tiling window managers and why I use them and why you should probably use them. And I guess let's just get straight into the video. So the first reason that I like tiling window managers, this is the reason why pretty much everybody likes tiling window managers, and it's because it is a keyboard centric workflow. So most of the time, you are not removing your hands from the keyboard. And a lot of the time, I try and keep most of my fingers on home row uh, so I can change my key binds to be the most fitting and I don't really have to think about them a lot. And with the track point on the ThinkPad, since I don't even need to remove my hands from the keyboard to control the mouse, it completely enhances the experience. So uh, tile and window managers are very good for ThinkPads. The second thing, is that because you're not really moving your hands from the computer or for the keyboard to the mouse and back and forth it's a lot faster so you're getting what you need to do done a lot faster which i'd like to say about layouts they are also much faster the way that instead of using like a floating window measure like kde all the windows are going to be random spots you got to resize them okay but with styling window managers you have standardized window sizes. Whenever you open a new window, it goes based on the layout. I like the master stack layout, which you can see on the screen. You never have to waste your time moving your windows around. Usually you just have a key bind that does it for you very quickly. And the thing about key binds, which is maybe a potential downside, is at first it is a decent amount of key binds to memorize. This is why I say that instead of using somebody else's build of the window manager or someone else's configuration, you should definitely configure it yourself or at least look at somebody else's configuration and then base your build or config off of what they've done. This way it'll make it more natural whenever you want to use your window manager. It's all about being natural you don't want to have to think about how to use your window manager the same way if you drag a window on a floating window manager you don't want to think about doing that you kind of just do it it's a, it's the exact same thing it's pretty much the same philosophy it's about not thinking about it it's just this is a little bit more advanced a little bit more complex you got to learn a little bit but it is very worth it in the end because you're saving a lot of time now with some window managers they ship as just a regular configuration and they don't really let you do a lot with it besides maybe how the windows look and whatnot. This is why, and me being a sound like a shill, but I, I'm all right, I'm gonna shill DWM here because DWM allows you to reprogram literally everything without a lot of effort. And a lot of people think that the patching process is very daunting. Well, there's a very easy way to patch DWM. In fact, I made a video about it, which you can see at the top right hand corner. And that allows you to configure it in a lot of ways that normally wouldn't be possible with the base code. And then you can also take a look in its one configuration file that gets compiled into the main binary. That way you're not constantly switching things. You take a look at that. And it's very easy if you know even just a little bit about C. If you don't know about C, you can still mostly figure it out, look at other people's builds, get a feel for it. Ask people within the Linux or OpenBSD or any community that has to do with computers. You'll probably find somebody that's willing to help you configure. You can find a lot of resources on the Suckless website. You can find resources, unfortunately, on Reddit. I hate Reddit, but you know, there's sometimes good information on there. A lot of the time it's bad so it's really hit or miss you just have to see what works for you anyways i know this was a little bit of a short video um i just wanted to talk about why i use a window manager um but yeah thanks for watching